So what can I do to accelerate carbon neutrality if elected to council? Well, it's a great question and I'm going to enjoy answering it. Well, for the last 10 years or so, uh, my driving force in life has been action on climate change. And after many years of doing things, you know, pretty much the same way as everyone else was doing it, uh, I realised that there wasn't really a lot of progress and a couple of friends and I decided we needed to really think outside the box and engage the whole community. Uh, and we decided to do this by creating Voices of Warringah and engaging the community with the kitchen table conversation model. I'm pleased to say that this action began a movement that along with other the work of other committed members of the community who were also doing things differently, the work committed, the work culminated in getting Zali Stegel elected. And I think this has been the one thing our community has really added to action on climate change on a federal level. So much so that when I organised for Tim Flannery to come and talk at a Coca Lagoon Friends AGM in 2019, uh, someone in the audience asked him, What can we as a community do for action on climate change? And his answer was, well, this community has already done the most effective thing for climate change action, and that is you have voted in Zali Stegel. So as Zali's campaign manager, I have ticked that off my list, and now I want to put my efforts into local government. I'm running for council to ensure that there are enough people on council who are as passionate and as able to push this issue as I am. I will use my voice to ensure this crucial issue is at the forefront of decision making and planning. However, it's not just that. I'm running because I've looked at Council's quite impressive climate change action plan. I admire the commitment to carbon neutrality by 2045 and the aspiration of carbon neutrality by 2030. I'm pleased that they've made so much positive change and are ahead of their targets and have led other councils on this issue under the leadership of Mayor Michael Regan. So much so that they have achieved recognition for the New from the New South Wales Government Sustainability Advantage Program. Of course, while having a sustainable entity is really important as it helps lead the way, reducing emissions on the northern beaches will require change for businesses and households too. Council is leading built by, by example and changing behaviours, which is great, but there is so much more to be done. In their Climate Action Plan, it's great that Council has committed to encouraging and supporting our community to reduce emissions in their business, industry and at home. However, it is apparent to me that many of the statements in the plan start with encourage or educate. While I'm aware of some great work being done in this regard, for example, their award-winning Swap for Good program, their Secondhand Saturdays, all of which are fantastic, I do think more can be done to make more people aware and to actually make the necessary behavioural changes that we need. And it is engagement that is the answer to all of this. As someone with real runs on the board for community engagement that got actual results, I will advocate for better community engagement done a little bit differently. It's actually a dream of mine to be in a position where it's my job to engage with people on this. How will I do it? There will be more on this in my next answer.